So I just finished Doc's video. He was a uh, he was talking about he saw a small piece of gaming news weekly on Sunday. We we stream on Sunday, so y'all better be there. Sunday, usually around one o'clock. I be fucking up sometimes and I don't be streaming at the right time, but it's usually Sunday at one. I try to get that in. Gaming News Weekly, we be having a good time. This week was a really good fucking week. King Thrash pulled up. Uh, we had a whole lot of things in the chat. We had a whole lot of great conversations going. So, I mean, it was it was a good time. I had fun the whole time. He said he came in on the part where me and Thrash are talking about Game Pass as a, as a platform. And see, before Thrash showed up, and like the chat started like growing like real quick, but before that, like the talk that I was having with the chat before Thrash showed up and Doc showed up and all of that, we were talking about how Xbox has all these big games coming. Starfield's coming, Redfall's coming, uh, Forza's coming, no release dates. But every time we get Game Pass drops, we get release dates for those. So I was like, Game Pass is a way better supported platform than Xbox is at the moment. Whoever's running Game Pass is running Game Pass the proper way to run a platform. We have dates for everything, bro. We're talking about Monster Hunter coming, more Persona games are coming, Xbox, where they release dates set. That's what we were talking about in the chat. And then Thrash came in, we started talking about, he was like, Game Pass not a platform, it's a service. I mean, it used to be a service. See, I've been on Xbox a long time. Y'all know y'all can see my background. I've been on Xbox a long time. Game Pass used to be a service that you just had. Now Game Pass is way more than that. And if you've been on Xbox as long as I have, you know that too, deep down, even though it's still a service, you just buy it, it's, you know, it's one of those things. But Game Pass is being supported way more than Xbox is. Way more than Xbox is. And everybody knows it. Nobody's really speaking on that. And that's kind of how this whole thing transpired. So see, what I was getting at, and then he was talking about the Death Stranding thing, because I was saying, like, Hideo Kojima literally supports Game Pass, but he don't support Xbox. Because Death Stranding is on Game Pass and not on Xbox. Because he was talking about what game is Game Pass exclusive. Death Stranding is Game Pass exclusive, bro. You only can play that shit on PC Game Pass. You can't play it on Xbox. That's where we was getting it. I know there's a whole lot of caveats to that. There's people in the comment section right now, Gaming News Weekly, you know, trying to, like, argue points. Like, we know why it's like that. We know 505 ported the game and put it on Game Pass. We all know why. But it still doesn't change the fact that Hideo Kojima can support Game Pass but not support Xbox at the same time. Because it was a Sony exclusive game, 505 got the rights to port it to PC. But if Xbox and Game Pass was exactly the same thing, would it not be on Game Pass too? That is, that is where this all is stemming from. So Hideo gets to support Game Pass. He doesn't support Xbox. Another company, we were talking about this in the chat as we I, I, as this was dying down. Atlas is one of those people too. Atlas has been making Persona games on PlayStation for how long? They never had a PlayStation deal. That was never the case. They never had PlayStation exclusive rights. They just didn't support Xbox. They stopped supporting Xbox in the 360 era with Catherine. They stopped making Xbox games for 15 years. Why did they come back and instantly support Game Pass as the platform of choice? They could have been released Persona 4, Golden, that was on PC for a long time. I owned it on PC. That's where I played it at. Persona 5 Royal, it came to Xbox via Game Pass. They supported Game Pass before they supported Xbox. That was the argument I was making. Game Pass became a platform that developers want to support, and Xbox hasn't. I mean, Xbox supports Game Pass. Game Pass got its launch off of Xbox, but now you can have Game Pass on your Samsung TV. You don't need an Xbox no more. You don't need an Xbox no more. You can have Game Pass on your phone. You don't need an Xbox no more. You can have Game Pass on your PC. You don't need an Xbox no more. That's all I was saying. And Game Pass is definitely getting a lot more support than Xbox is. Because when is Starfield coming out? We don't fucking know. But when is Atomic Heart coming out? We know because it has a fucking release date in February. Game Pass has their dates, bro. Every Game Pass drop that we know coming is factual. They have dates on there. The whole January is dated. The whole January is dated. February is getting dated. They got games coming. There's games that Xbox has slated that's coming, that's first party. None of those got release dates. So why is Game Pass being ran 
way better, being supported way better than the Xbox platform. That's all I was talking about on Gaming News Weekly, and that's all I'm going to say right here. So uh, let me know what y'all think down below. It's fine, bro. People have their own like explanations for this and that and this. But the facts are the facts, bro. These companies supported Game Pass before they supported Xbox. <laughs> they definitely chose to support Game Pass and not support Xbox. And that's, that's just how I'm seeing it. And I've been here a long time, bro. So, I mean, I've seen the worst of Xbox. I've seen the best of Xbox. And Game Pass is definitely the platform that developers want to support. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, if you're new. Make sure you come to Gaming News Weekly because we doing this shit every week. Hopefully. I'll be busy sometimes, so I'll be missing it. But I usually put that in the community tab if I'm not going to stream so nobody has to, like, wait around. I usually update it, like, earlier in the day. Put Sundays at 1. Come through. And I'll see you all in the next video.